Man, it's really not a good time to be a Kodak Black artist, man. One of his most recent signees, 26 CJ, was found in a burning car, not alive, outside of Pompano Beach, Florida, which continues a disturbing trend going with the artists who end up being signed to Kodak Black, from Sickle Bob, who was just sentenced to five years today, to Wiz the Wizard. There's a disturbing trend of artists just not really making it or crashing out just in general after signing to the label. Man, we gotta get into the story of 26 CJ and how he met his demise. But before we do, man, I'ma need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna run up this video. Make sure y'all check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com. Man, let's get into this. A neighborhood on edge in Pompano Beach after a body was found in a burning car. Our local tens Leanne Morahone is live with a reaction from some really frightened neighbors, and understandably so, Leanne. Yeah, they really were scared by all of this. I want you to take a look, though, because since we last joined you an hour ago, you can see that burned out car is now on the bed of a tow truck that will now be taken away as evidence as investigators continue their investigation. A fire burning brightly early Tuesday morning, an SUV completely engulfed in flames. Inside, a person found dead, neighbors watching in horror. This man says he heard an explosion. When he looked outside, he saw the vehicle burning. And it just was a couple of months ago when 26 CJ, who was a recent signee to Kodak Black, hailing out of Florida, basically came onto the scene. I mean, he was on the scene in an underground way, but was signed by Kodak Black. But he had a number of things to say about the Kodak Black person and label, which he said a couple of months back on his story, basically saying that Kodak Black was weird and he didn't appreciate the way that Kodak Black maybe conducts business. And he had a tell-all interview that he was gonna talk about stuff. And apparently he never got the chance to do that. Now, I'm not saying that Kodak Black had anything to do with any of these situations. I'm just saying that he was signed to them. But it's just kind of crazy because if you look at it, 26 CJ was found in a burning car dead outside of Pompano Beach, Florida with a gunshot wound to the head, man. This is some real mafia shit. Look at what happened to Wiz the Wizard. It's almost a very similar situation. His body was found beheaded in Broward, Florida as well. But in a different part of Broward, Florida, it was basically reported that the Broward Sheriff's Office is investigating after a body was discovered inside of a burning vehicle on Tuesday morning in Pompano Beach. According to BSO spokeswoman Miranda Grossman, someone called 911 around 6.30 a.m. to report a vehicle on fire in the 200 block of Northwest 32nd Court. Cell phones show the white SUV engulfed in flames, a nearby dumpster almost so caught on fire. Neighbors were seen coming outside watching in disbelief. William Ronaldo Martinez, who lives nearby, told Local 10 News in Spanish that he heard what sounded like an explosion. He went to his window outside to look and he saw a burning SUV. Deputies Pompano Beach firefighters responded to the scene and the fire was extinguished. Deputies then found a body inside of the backseat of the vehicle. Sky 10 was above the scene around 7 30 a.m. what appears to be a red gas canister could be seen on the ground near the charred vehicle. Neighbors said they were shocked at the sight of it all, saying it's scary to think that this could happen where they live. Man, the city of Pompano Beach Public Information Officer Sandra King said the victim as an adult and detectives at the time were working to confirm the identity of the body and it turned out to be 26 CJ, the former Kodak Black KTB artist, man. Man, this shit is crazy. But it isn't crazy at the same time because a lot of these dudes are from the street and it's not really like Kodak has the time to be hitting these guys and taking them out on some mafia shit. Because at the end of the day, these artists probably deal with all types of worse people. Like Kodak Black really gave them an opportunity to try to make it in this world. And I guess they took these opportunity and couldn't keep both feet out of the streets. But it's very unfortunate what happened to him. And it's eerily similar to what happened to Wiz the Wizard Man, who got beheaded just a little bit further south in um, Broward County. So. 
you know, whatever these dudes are going through, I mean, I feel like you could attest it to the fact that Kodak's giving them an opportunity to make it out the streets and signing real street dudes. But it's just kind of unfortunate that they didn't make it. And the ways that they be getting put out, man, is crazy. Sounds like straight from like a Godfather movie or something like that. Man, all we could do is really pray for their families and hope that everything gets solved um, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes unsolved though because they probably burned all the evidence and whoever did this shit was professional sounds like some cartel mafia shit man these dudes are probably in a lot deeper issues than just signing contracts and like internet beef with rap artists and stuff like that so you know the fact that they got the opportunity still is pretty real you know they didn't go as far as they really wanted to a lot of them like looking at sickle bob who just was sentenced to five years but you know they had a little bit of a stretch when they were getting put on songs and getting opportunities and stuff but it's hard to really make a mainstream hit when you're really really from entrenched in the streets you know because you have to tap in with the whole mainstream man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this situation man you think kodak had something to do with it you think it was just an isolated incident just some crazy shit man you know what gets crazy in the know man let me know what y'all think real safe safe shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment